hi uh, today I'm going to show you the wiring of a 4 pole contactor along with an NONG switch assume this to be a 4 pole contactor okay. and this operates at 220 volts 220 volts 4 pole contactor See the 4 pole contactor basically consists of 4 terminals at the top and 4 terminals at the bottom. And apart from this we have another 2 terminals and this is to activate the solenoid coil inside the 4 pole contactor. And the position of these two terminals vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. Okay, now basically what happened? We have a three phase current here R, Y, B, and N. Nothing but the red, yellow, blue phase and the neutral. And here is the in this four terminals, the load is connected. And so to start off with the connection, the red is linked to the first terminal, Y is linked to the second terminal and B is linked to the third terminal and neutral is linked to the fourth at the bottom let's assume we connect this to any load for example a three phase motor a three phase motor and for a three phase motor since it is a balanced load there is no necessity of a neutral connection so we just use these three terminals so basically what happens in this focal contactor when the solenoid is activated there is a link which is created between the top and the bottom terminal this way there is no crisscross linkages only the top and the bottom the respective top and the bottom gets linked when the solenoid is activated but how do we activate the solenoid for this we require two switches which is the NO switch which consists of two terminals and the NC switch which also consists of two terminals so what is this NO and NC switch See the NO switch is nothing but in a nor normally open switch and NC is normally closed switch. So what does this mean? A normally open switch and these are uh, push button switches. So once you press the switch a contact occurs but once you remove your finger out of the switch the contact is released. The switch does not stay in its pressed position it comes back to its original position in both the switches so in a normally open switch there is no linkage between the top and the bottom terminal but when it is pressed a link is created but the opposite happens in the NC switch a link between the top and bottom terminal always exists but when you press the button the link is broken so how do we wire this so to start with the wiring you can draw current from any of the three phases R, Y and B. So for example in this thing we take draw a wire from the B phase. From here you draw this wire and connect it to one end of the NO switch. And the wire from the other end of the NO switch will go to NC. And from this end of NC, this will go up till the one end of the solenoid. The other end of the solenoid is connected to the neutral. Now what happens? See there is always current from the B, B phase up till this point of the NO switch when you press the button there is a linkage created and the current flows up to the NC since the NC is always at a closed position 
current from here will flow out of this point and it will come up till the solenoid point. Since the other end of the solenoid is already connected to the neutral, the circuit gets completed. And when the circuit gets complete, the contactor is activated and a link occurs between the top and bottom terminals. So current from R comes out of this, current from Y comes out of this, current from B comes out of this. Hence the motor receives the current and the motor runs. But we have a problem here. Once the NO switch is released, current from here does not flow out of this point. Hence there is no current here to activate this coil, solenoid coil inside the 4 pole contactor. Hence the link breaks and the motor goes off. So you cannot keep keep your finger always pressed on this. So to keep the circuit running even after the finger is removed, we add one more wire from this point up till this. So now what happens? You press the NO switch. Current from this point comes out of here, goes to the NC. Since the NC is all already closed, the current comes here and the coil is activated. So once the coil is activated, current from the B terminal comes out of this. And hence we have a, and since we have a wire coming out of this, there is current flowing in this wire too. So it will go to the NC. And this current comes here. So irrespective of the current breaking, when you have removed your finger out of this NO switch, there is current coming from this direction. And it will keep the circuit closed. And the motor will continue to run. Now when you decide to switch off the current motor, you press the NC switch. So once you press the NC switch, current which has been coming from this will not come out of this when you press the NC switch. Hence the solenoid does not get current, the circuit breaks. So when the circuit inside this breaks, the current which was coming out of this point also breaks. So the circuit is totally broken, hence the motor will come to a halt. So this is how the NONC connection works. But uh, what is the main purpose of all this? See in, a, in the normal conventional uh, switches, what happens? you have the current and the output so this is R Y B and this is your load terminals so once when you switch it on this has to be done manually and the contact always exists so till you manually switch it off the contact will always be there. So, for example, you have connected this load lines to a machine. Once you switch it on, the machine keeps running. In case of power failure, the machine goes off. Machine will go off. But when the power returns, and which cannot be which cannot be predicted, it could happen at any moment. It could happen within a second or so, or it could even happen after an hour or so. So once the power comes back, the machine will start running automatically. This is quite dangerous since between this time gap between when the power went off and when it returned, there could be so many things happening near the machine. You could be standing somewhere close to it or somebody may be uh, picking something out of the machine. So when it starts all of a sudden, it could cause a lot of injury possibilities of an accident taking place is very high. So to prevent this uh, machine from automatically switching on when the power returns, the NONC switches were designed. So 
so here what happens when the power breaks the circuit breaks inside the contactor and the machine goes to an off state even when the power comes back the machine will not switch on on its own it will switch on only when you press this no volt so this is the main advantage of the circuit <coughs> i hope uh, the information i provided to you is very helpful thank you very much for watching this video if you have any suggestions or questions please do leave it in the comment thank you very much